vibration reading for the full moon of December 2018 I want to say um, thank you for being here thank you for being back a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year um, this is the full moon this is going from the 15th of December until the 15th of January 2019 okay so um, we are going to align ourselves with this full moon to see um, exactly what is coming out um, I want to say to each and every person thank you for your support um, in the year 2018 I, I really appreciate this um, thank you so much um, my heart goes out to each and every one I'm wishing each and every one of you that all your wishes and dreams will come true stay positive positivity is the best um, medicine um, once we stay positive what will um, happen is that we will align ourselves with the right positive energies I'm so grateful for um, each and every one of you this reading is for the Aquarius Gemini and Libra and this full moon reading um, it's gonna go um, for the 15 of the month of the of the 15 of the other month I'm wishing you guys really 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 some powerful um, changes and experience uh, to come up come up in your life as we align ourselves with a new year that is coming in okay so remember this is uh, um, the air sign full moon reading the air signs or the Aquarian Gemini or Libra let's see what is coming in um, first we are going to do um, the, um, the um, Sun sign the Sun sign or the people who were born um, true uh, in the daylight okay so um, you were born from 12 um, 12 o'clock midnight until um, 12 um, 6 p.m. okay so you were born under the Sun that means the Sun was shining it was daytime when you were born okay you have the energy of um, Pluto Pluto the energy of Pluto that is coming in for you guys okay so um, Pluto is um, really really positive because what this is going to do and you have the Capricorn you have Pluto and the Capricorn okay so then you have the energy of and I better put my glasses on it's early in the morning um, Mars okay so um, there is going to be a career shift that is happening for you guys I'll take a picture so you guys um, can see what is happening there is going to be Mars a career ship um, career opportunities or career ship that is about to come in for you guys okay so let's look at the people who were born after 7 o'clock um, and that those are the people who were born in the night after 7 o'clock those are the people who were born in the night okay what came out is Sagittarius so this is a lucky sign so for the people who were born after seven o'clock in the evening you have the energy that you're going to be working with and it is Sagittarius now um, Sagittarius comes in and this is wonderful when Sagittarius comes in because uh, um, these people will help you and bring bring you luck these Sagittarius will help you and bring you luck okay then there is the energy of Mercury Mercury as um, connected with uh, you your sign people because uh, you work the magic you fall on the all the energies of um, the light so um, you work with magical energies so um, that is uh, um, so positive and so good okay then you have uh, um, the energy of Aries Aries the Aries are going to be coming in and helping you okay the Aries are going to be coming in and help you guys now what I'm seeing here is that there is the energy of the Scorpio and the Scorpio comes up with the Aries and Mars okay the Scorpio comes up with Aries and Mars so we're going to be taking um, a deeper better look at this I'm gonna make the, 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 the photo for you guys so that you can have it and your center um, coming out is the energy of the Virgos okay so this 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 new full moon is just going to be something for you guys because what is transpiring and what is happening is that this is going to be aligning you with so much um, energies because you have less planets and more 
um, zodiac signs to work with and this is more favorable for um, you guys because you have more um, signs whenever you work with more signs it's a uh, much better for you because you're more um, align with certain situations that is happening in your life okay because this is this is very good a lot of people think that working with the planets are better but it's uh, it's not so so mercury um, and we're first going to be looking in, in depth at each and every sign before we go forward now we're gonna begin with the people who were born in the day there is the energy of Pluto okay so the sign of um, Pluto with the Sun people is really an alignment of, uh, um, of, 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 of energies where we need to remove things out of our lives or things are going to be suddenly being removed out of uh, your life okay so as we look the central and outcome we have Scorpio where the Aries but Pluto is working with you air signs and for um, the um, Pluto affecting the Aquarians okay um, it's going to be um, all things must pass to make way for new things okay so that is kind of the motto for the Sun people all things must pass to make a new way for new things and, and and this is really the motto that is going to be coming in for most of um, you air sign people in this new moon um, energies because um, things needs to be let go and this is what I said because whenever Pluto comes in um, your birth chart and you're working with Pluto that means um, something is going to be released out of your life and you really need um, to release this um, whatever it is you really need um, to remove it out of your life because um, whenever Pluto comes you can't keep back whatever needs to be moved you have to just work with the energies and let it go okay because that's what you have to do work with the energies and let it go because this is something that you can't hold on to you just have to work with the energies and let it go release whatever that needs to be released in your life so we have the energy of um, Pluto and the Capricorn um, the Capricorns are going to be coming in um, so some of you a Capricorn could be removing out of your life um, um, or um, you are removing out of the life of the Capricorn so the Sun in um, the Pluto in the Sun is a cycle has finished release what no longer serve you and trust that something better is on its way so for you Sun sign people it's all about releasing releasing so you could be dealing with a Capricorn that you need to release and uh, um, it could be um, at work uh, the career field because we're seeing that at work and the career field um, so it could be at work but it could be also affecting you in other alignments of your life okay so um, what is transpiring is that you're seeing that certain aspects certain things just needs to remove out of your life whenever the Sun is in um, the Sun and Mars you have control over how your energy is spent turn turn it towards um, goodwill and no longer towards revenge and anger okay so that is what you Sun sign needs so um, be aligned with with this year and, and this full moon because you need to release something and do not have any revenge over um, things and people because revenge is what is keeping you your signs behind because you, you keep on having revenge with people and that is not what it is supposed to be now we're moving on to the moon sign and the moon sign people is the people who were born after 6 p.m. in the evening you have to deal with Sagittarius and Mercury and the hairy Sagittarius Mercury and Aries okay so what is going to be transpiring um, when we deal with um, the, um, the, the the energy of Mercury because you have only one planet that planetary system that you're dealing with when you um, decide to um, work with mercury is that your dreams are fulfilled with important you know you're gonna be dreaming um, between the 15th of December to the 15th of January 
and it's going to be filled with important messages so align yourself and get a dream book or write down your dream or try and remember your dream given as much as attention to your sleeping life as your awakened life okay so your dream life and your awakened life is going to be con um, connecting with each other okay it's really going to be a connecting with each other what I'm seeing is that the heart signs are really coming in whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring I'm seeing the earth signs really coming in to help to help you guys out um, and this is good uh, there is only the energy of uh, um, the earth and the fires are coming in for the Sun sign people you're dealing with the hurt people for um, the moon sign people you're dealing with the fire people because you're dealing with the Sagittarius and uh, um, the Sagittarius and the Aquarian and the Aries okay so this is a situation where um, there is a lot of changes that is about to come up because you're ending the year you have the Gemini's which is the central so you Gemini's are actually going to be helping out the Aquarians and the Librans okay um, I'm seeing the energy of the scorpion Mars the scorpion at work with the Aries okay so some of you at work is going to be dealing with um, the Sun sign is going to be dealing with Mars um, but you are going to be having effect with um, the scorpions and the Aries at your work so the Sun sign people at your work you're going to be dealing with the scorpions and the Aquarians people so be ready and be aligned now what is here in the middle is that the Virgos and this is so good the Virgos or in the middle of the mix is as if the Virgos are bringing um, balance okay the Virgos are here that is going to be supporting you your sign people the Virgos are you know bringing balance balancing out certain aspect in certain situation which is um, extremely good I mean, whatever you look at however way you look at it um, when an earth sign is working um, in um, a month with you it's actually um, very good because they are aligning you in um, positive positive energy mercury is here and for you Gemini's because you comes up and also mercury it's a lucky period for you Gemini's whatever is um, transpiring um, it's, it's really really a lucky people a lucky series a lucky time for you Gemini's because um, you're dealing with um, especially the Gemini's that was born in the night um, you are really dealing with um, your own um, planetary system that is going to be helping you to move forward which is absolutely um, very 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 positive the people who are going to be feeling it most of all it is the energy of uh, um, the liberals uh, you liberals are really 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 um, going to be feeling the power of this uh, um, full moon energies in this month but um, uh, the Aquarians, you know, the the, the 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 situation that is happening, it depends on if you were born in the day or in you were born in the night. Okay, uh, that is the big transition period here. Is that if you were born in the day or if you were born in the night, that is what and where the aspect of this transition, this changing of the moon, is going to affect you. Okay, so. There is a lot that is going to be happening because, um, as we look what is happening in the world at this moment, you are seeing so many um, transition of energies that is coming in, and all of these transition of energies is going to be affecting each and every person, and it all depends on if you were born in the night or if you were born in the day, because what is going to be happening is that. There is going to be a sense of uh, um, changes that is coming in, and these sense of changes is going to be aligning you in um, all different manners and ways. Okay, so um, this reading is a fifty minutes reading. Sometimes it can go to sixty minutes. Please order the rest of the reading on um, on demand because um, what is transpiring is that. Um, you are going to be um, the extended reading as uh, it's, it's just two ninety nine people and trust me there is so many 
because I'm getting so many feedbacks um, so many feedbacks that I'm getting from other people about this full moon reading how um, correct they are and um, how they are connecting with these full moon readings because of the information um, is, is so strong and so powerful connecting with the month people are aligning themselves and you know just go and and check out it's 299 it's Christmas do something for yourself this Christmas get a full moon reading and um, and um, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you are going to be aligned with the energies to move you forward it is a wonderful time um, there is a lot of changes that is coming up for you guys but these changes are going to be good so um, be aligned with these changes I want to say namaste until next time